Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So as predicted, Microsoft is now busy rolling out the June 2023 optional updates for Windows 10 and Windows 11, which um, were made available late yesterday in my region on the 27th of June. Now, optional updates, as the name does indicate, are just that. They are optional and will appear on your Windows update page. And if you don't decide to install the update now, um, the improvements and fixes, as many of you will know, and will be carried over by default into the July Patch Tuesday security update, which will be a compulsory update, which will roll out starting the 11th of July next month. Now, if you do decide to install um, the optional update for Windows 10 after you have restarted your device, uh, the update will appear here under quality updates as normal, which is KB5027293. So that's this month's Windows 10 optional bug fix update. And this is uh, exactly the update um, that I did post on last week when it was still in preview. And now, as mentioned, has now finally made its way down to the stable version of Windows 10. And by the way, Windows 10 22H2 now is the only version of Windows 10 that is now continuing to receive monthly updates in case you are unaware. Now, um, just to go through uh, some of the bug fixes and improvements, just to do a quick recap in case you missed that previous video. Um, for this update, Microsoft um, says that the highlight is that they have addressed an issue that was affecting the on-screen keyboard. So um, apparently there was a issue that was stopping it from opening after you lock uh, the machine. So if you did experience that issue with the on-screen keyboard, that issue now has been resolved. Now, this is a non-security update. And um, according to Microsoft, as mentioned previously, does include three new features. Although they aren't um, minor features, they are listed as new features and are mainly taking place under the hood, so to speak. But just to mention them, uh, if you would be interested, um, this update adds many new features and improvements to Microsoft Defender uh, for endpoints. So that's mainly affecting businesses and enterprises. So that will be a nice improvement uh, in that regard. And then with this update, you can also now authenticate across Microsoft Clouds. This feature also satisfies conditional access checks if they are needed according to Microsoft. And the third new improvement um, is that it improves several simplified Chinese fonts and the Microsoft Pinion Input Method Editor that now supports GB18030-2022. Now, that's the so-called new features out of the way, and this is a non-security bug fix update. So just to go through a couple of the fixes, um, if you would be interested. Now, as mentioned um, previously in last week's video, if we just head over to our administrative tools, uh, there is a fix for the task scheduler, which is a legacy component and maintenance component of Windows 10 and Windows 11. And the update addresses an issue that does affect the task scheduler. And uh, it might not run on time if the next occurrence happens when daylight savings time occurs. So that's a daylight savings time fix for the legacy uh, task scheduler maintenance feature. And there's also a printing fix where the update addresses an issue that affects the spooler service. Apparently it stopped working and the issue was occurring when you print using a certain wor workspace. And then um, the two final uh, fixes just to mention uh, for today's video are regarding the registry, registry editor with the H key current user um, uh, keys and string. Apparently the user shell folders had an issue and you can now set and maintain the correct default permissions for this directory path H key current user if you were affected and are using the registry editor on a regular basis. And once the update has been applied, um, if we just head over to Winver, which will give us the latest uh, build for Windows 10 version 22H2 about Windows. And the OS build is now 19045.3155 for Windows 10 version 22H2. And that's with the latest optional bug fix update KB5027293. So thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.